Yeah, start early. Yeah, you can start, um, Salani. Uh, good morning. Uh, good morning, everybody. A new week in Israel. In India, it's uh, not a new week, but in Israel, it's a new week started. <laughs> Shavua Tov, they say in Hebrew. Shavua Tov. Um, so we are back again, uh, trying to uh, understand the structure of the human uh, mind and see and see what part of the human mind uh, can cause suffering for ourselves and the ones around us and how can I, we get liberated from uh, this kind of uh, uh, functioning and we have uh, Sri Bhagavat here from South India to guide us in that uh, search. So Sri Bhagavat, you can start. Oh. Hey, welcome all of you. Uh, today we are going to have an interesting session in a different manner. Uh, what is the beauty of this is that I am the questioner and you are the master. <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we, we are changing our position. <laughs> so we we'll first log call of them first. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to take the role of a master and uh, I am going to question you <laughs> and you have to convince me <laughs> nice it reminds me of uh, the uh, one uh, master uh, Ramesh Barsaka from India oh he was saying, uh, he was promising, if you come to my seminar, mm. you will be in, you have to pay $1,000 and I guarantee that you get enlightenment after <laughs> you pay $1,000. But uh, the condition was that you have to prove for, to me that you are not enlightened. You have to. <laughs> 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 then okay. you will get your money back. <laughs> Otherwise, okay. I keep the money for myself. <laughs> but the liberation is common, but the enlightenment is restricted. Uh, enlightenment is a conditional one. Somebody may be enlightened, somebody may not be enlightened, but the liberation is common. Uh, we cannot uh, deny our liberation. Deny uh, liberation is here and now, but uh, enlightenment is not so. Uh, there is, uh, there is a basic difference between enlightenment and difference. liberation. Yes, I think uh, Ramesh Basaka doesn't uh, do this uh, differentiation uh, between uh, enlightenment and Liberation. 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 He takes it as one. One. Take it. But most of the masters taking liberation and enlightenment as one. That's a great mistake they have committed <laughs> unconsciously. <laughs> but all masters are good. There is no blame upon them. But only the in the case of expression alone, some problem arises. So if the explanation is okay, Everything is okay. But yeah, for themselves, they are enlightened. There is no doubt about it. Uh, you, Lanier, you may summarize all those things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so שהוא רוצה להפוך את, ה... את היוצרות, והוא יהיה זה ששואל את השאלות, ואנחנו נהיה אלה שנותנים את התשובות. ואני אמר, אני סיפרתי על מורה מבומביי, 
ששמו רמש בלסיקה, והוא ב... באחד הסמינרים שלו הוא אמר שהוא אה, יחזיר את הכסף לכל מי שיוכיח לא שהוא אה, לא מואר והוא מבטיח שכולם יקבלו הערה בסמינר והתנאי שלו הוא שאתה צריך להוכיח לו שאתה לא מואר ואז אתה תקבל את הכסף שלך בחזרה ו... אה, זהו, אז שרים אגב תאיר לגבי העניין הזה של הערה, שבעצם הדבר המשותף לכל בני האדם הוא שכולם משוחררים, זה המצב הטבעי של כולם, אבל הערה היא, היא, לא, היא לא מצב שהוא משותף לכולם, זה מצב שבו חלק מהאנשים יש להם אותם וחלק לא תלוי כמה הם חקרו לתוך הטבע של הנפש שלהם. זה אומר שזה אחת הטעויות שרוב המורים עושים, זה שהם לא מבחינים בין הערה לבין שחרור. אוקיי. אוקיי, אז אני שואל את השאלה הראשונה. So this is the basic idea that if we if you go through the idea what is the enlightenment and what is liberation and there is uh, no other search in our life all, all our search will end uh, by understanding what is enlightenment and what is liberation what is enlightenment and what is liberation what is the connection between both and and you have to enlighten me <laughs> enlighten me <laughs> what is enlightenment and you know, what is liberation as the shiba gavat mazmin otanu lanot ala shela absisit beter mibkhinato shi ma yara ve ma ho shifu ומה היחסים בין השניים. ומבחינתו אם אתה יודע, מבין, את ההבדל בין השניים, קשר בין השניים, אז uh, בעצם uh, הבנת את הדבר החשוב ביותר. ובעצם אתה uh, משוחרר uh, בחיים האלה. מואר או איך שלא תרצו לקרוא לזה אז הוא מזמין אותנו לדבר על זה מי שרוצה שפשוט יפתח את המיקרופון וידבר אוקיי, אולי אני אביא את הראשון אתה תקרא את הראשון של המאסטר אבל המאסטר אבל הראשון שלו להגיד את המשחק <laughs> yeah, so um, the way I understand it, uh, enlightenment is uh, uh, the understanding that there is no work. It's uh, the understanding that um, you have uh, no work to be done <clears throat> um, and that uh, you just need to let things happen and uh, um, there is nothing for you to be done in the um, in your mind in, in your conscious mind and uh, liberation is just the natural state which is always there but you're not you're, you're simply not uh, you're not understanding it so you think you always need to regulate and saturate your uh, emotions and your uh, uh, feelings and your expectations and you're always in a fight um, and, and this fight is causing a lot of suffering but And enlightenment is the understanding that you simply don't have to do anything. You just need to accept whatever happens. Um, and that's liberation. I mean, the minute you, you understand that, you understand also the liberated state of yourself. So, yeah. uh, a few more examples for liberation. What is liberation? <clears throat> Um, 
liberation, the way I see it is just the state where um, you let whatever happens, happens. You don't have to um, just natural flow. You, you live, you accept whatever is happening right now. You live in whatever is happening right now and you don't have to do anything or you don't have to, you just need to accept it. It's just the, uh, the way I see it is the acceptance of whatever is happening is the liberated state, is realizing the liberated state. Okay. Uh, now you may translate your in your own language also. <clears throat> okay. אז מה שניסיתי להגיד זה שהערה זה מצב של, של הבנה שאין מה לעשות ושלא צריך לאזן או להילחם בכל מה שקורה, פשוט לתת לדברים לקרות, לקבל אותם במובן הזה ש... שאין לך שום שליטה עליהם ושום יכולת לשלוט בהם או צורך לשלוט בהם. אז ההערה זה פשוט ההבנה האינטלקטואלית שזה מה ש... שאין שם עבודה. והשחרור זה, זה אותו מצב טבעי שאתה לא אמור להפריע לו. זאת אומרת, מצב שבו כל מה שקורה קורה, אתה מגיב למה שקורה, אתה נמצא בסיטואציה, וברגע שאתה מבין שאין לך עבודה, Okay. So what is the difference between the uh, enlightened liberation and non-enlightened liberation? Some, so we may have, already we are having liberation, but when we are enlightened, what kind of liberation is there? If we are not liberated, what kind of liberation is there? So... When, when I'm enlightened, I'm, uh, I'm conscious about my liberation. When I'm not enlightened, I'm not conscious about my liberation. And conscious of liberation means? Conscious of liberation means that I actually experience liberation. I don't... What is the quality of liberation? What is the quality of, uh, we, are, uh, we are conscious of liberation, uh, that is right. But what is the quality of liberation when we are enlightened? And what is the quality of the liberation when not enlightened? It's the same quality. It's just that it, in one case, you, you see it, you, um, you understand it. And the second one, you're not. You're always clouded with... Uh, continuous fighting, continuous uh, efforts. Okay, okay. <laughs> And you may also translate that. אז שרי בגבת שאל אותי מה ההבדל בין להיות במצב של שחרור עם הערה ולהיות במצב של שחרור בלי הערה. ומה שאני ניסיתי לענות זה ש... אין הבדל במצב, המצב של שחרור הוא מצב של שחרור, אבל במצב של הערה אתה, אתה מודע לזה, זה תופס את הנפח הגדול של התודעה שלך. מצב הזה של שחרור, בניגוד למצב שבו אתה לא מואר, ואז הנפח הגדול, או רוב הנפח של המודע שלך, הוא בלנסות להילחם ולסדר ולארגן ולתכנן. ו... זה פשוט הרבה עננים שמסתירים ממך את המצב הטבעי שלך. זה ההבדל בין שניהם. אוקיי. So the, the fighting nature is very important. So you are nice. Good. Thank you. Uh, Lanier, you may try. <laughs> In your definition is the uh, the intellectual uh, ordinary superficial understanding that there is no work to do in the psychological world there is no uh, 
uh, think there's nothing we can do in order to uh, free ourselves or get liberated or anything. We don't need to alter, change, or transform anything in the psychological world. So the understanding that we don't need to act upon our, our psychological world is, in my understanding, your definition of uh, enlightenment. And, and uh, liberation, in your definition, would be the, the natural everyday uh, flow of uh, the emotions from minute to minute, the flow of thoughts from second to second, from moment to moment. The ordinary uh, everyday la uh, flow of uh, the, the psychological content, which is uh, thoughts, emotions, sensations, whatever comes up. <clears throat> yeah. So that would be uh, liberation, the natural flow of the psychological world. And the relationship between the two <clears throat> would be that uh, the natural state is always there. The, 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 the liberated state is always there. But when uh, enlightenment is not attained, then there is an inner conflict, inner fight. Um, so we are caught up in this inner fight. Uh, and we don't uh, realize our true, uh, our natural state as a free flowing state. So that I would say that this is the difference between uh, 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 an unenlightened uh, person and an enlightened person. The unenlightened, uh, is caught up in trying to change his psychological world in order to achieve happiness and freedom and whatever he wants to achieve. The enlightened person knows that uh, all his strivings, all his efforts, all his uh, uh, pushing and pulling in the inner world will only make things worse. Uh, so he, he flows with everything, whatever comes, he flows with it. And he just has to uh, decide what his next action would be, his next uh, word would be. And, but from the inner aspect, he's, uh, there's no, uh, no effort whatsoever. Uh, sometimes, although that uh, a person may have this understanding, conflict may arise even in the inner world. But, but if the understanding is real, uh, is uh, deep rooted, then he understands that even the inner conflict, even the fighting in himself, is part of the flow. And then he lets uh, even that is uh, is seen as part of the flow, and there is no problem, even with the inner conflict. Okay. <laughs> you may translate in your own language. Also. Uh, the uh, the uh, uh, <laughs> it is saying that the bird is competing with me. She wants liberation also. <laughs> we have a we have a parrot. We have to let him out. <laughs> we have to arrest them. 
not really break now <laughs> <laughs> you are keeping it in under control <laughs> it wants to answer i think uh, so when it is uh, so it is i think it is uh, on your uh, uh, shoulder yeah. yes Oh, so it is when it is celebrated, it is okay. <laughs> it's quiet. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, uh, but did you hear what I said? Or it was clear. Okay. Okay. Clear. clear. Okay. So. אז מה שאמרתי בעברית זה שהעיירה לפי שרי בגבת זה ההבנה השכלית הפשוטה השטחית שאין לנו עבודה לעשות בעולם הפנימי. ברגע שיש את ההבנה הזאת אז המצב הטבעי המצב המשוחרר הוא כאילו בא לקדמת הבמה הוא כאילו נוכח יותר למרות שהוא תמיד היה שם אבל אנחנו לראשונה מבחינים בו, שזה בעצם המצב שלנו, כי עד אז היינו עסוקים במלחמות פנימיות. ו... ולכן, והמצב המשוחרר הוא פשוט המצב הרגיל של כל בני אדם, שזה רגשות, מחשבות ותחושות ש... שעולות ונעלמות מרגע לרגע בהתאם למצב. אבל בלי מישהו שמנסה לתמרן אותם כמו שהוא היה רוצה שהם אז הערה זה ההבנה והשחרור זה, זה המצב הטבעי הרגיל, זה לא איזשהו מצב מיוחד והיחסים ביניהם הוא שההערה בעצם מאפשרת לנו להבחין במצב של השחרור למרות שמצב השחרור הוא תמיד שם Okay. I can uh, speak. Uh, you, <laughs> what is your opinion about enlightenment and liberation, Rita? Uh, I think, and I think that if there is no freedom, then there is no freedom. The freedom comes only if there is no freedom. The freedom, as you said, from the feelings, the feelings, and everything. When you are free, then there is no freedom. ההערה הזאת היא נותנת, מה זה הערה? הערה היא נותנת לנו להתמקד במה שאנחנו מרגישים, רואים וזה, ואז יש לנו את האנרגיה להתמקד בכל, ה... בכל מה שאנחנו מקבלים מסביב. כי אם אין שחרור, אז אנחנו לא יכולים להתמקד במה שאנחנו מקבלים, שומעים, רואים מסביב. זה מה שאני חושבת. והיחס ביניהם זה שהשחרור הוא מצב יותר פיזי וההערה היא יותר אינטואיטיבית. זה ההבדל ביניהם. Thank you, Rita. I will translate. Ah, oh. so Rita is saying that for her, um, in order to enlightenment to, to happen, uh, liberation has to be there first. And she means like being free from our emotions, being free from our thoughts, being free from our sensations. And then she says, for her, enlightenment is the, the ability to, uh, to see clearly what we are given, what we hear, what we uh, uh, see. And, um, uh, she says that we have to be first free from, get freedom from our emotions, sensations and thoughts in order to appreciate what we what we have what we get, what is around us, what surrounds us. And 
I think she said that the, the uh, connection between uh, the relationship between liberation and enlightenment is that uh, the liberation is uh, physical and enlightenment is uh, more of an intuition nature. Okay. Uh, freedom from emotions means what? Uh, this kind of selecting some emotion, good emotions alone has to come and bad emotions should not come or uh, giving total freedom to the emotion. Which one needs to give freedom from emotion? Giving freedom from emotion means what? Uh, is a selected emotion alone must come and uh, unnecessary emotions should not come. So we have to, so whether, whether it is mainly a control over emotions or giving total freedom to emotions. What is the freedom of emotion? Freedom from emotion. What do you mean? What do you mean by freedom from emotion? מה שלמדנו, השחרור הזה לא להתמקד, לא, לא, לא להשקיע אנרגיה ב, 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 בסבל, ב, במה ש... לזרום, לזרום מה שיש, מה, כמו שדני אמר, מה שצריך להיות, תהיה. ברגע שאנחנו מקבלים uh, את הדברים כמו שהם, וזורמים, ואנחנו, אז אנחנו יכולים uh, להשקיע פחות אנרגיה למה שאנחנו מקבלים. מכל הבחינות, תחושות, רגשות, וזה אפילו דברים לא טובים. ואם אנחנו מקבלים את הכל כמו שהם, אז אנחנו יכולים אחר כך להיות משוחררים, יותר, מקבלים יותר אנרגיה לדברים אחרים, לקבל מסרים, לקבל מסרים מהסביבה. למה זה קרה, איך זה קרה, לנתח אותם. זאת אומרת שיש לנו יותר אנרגיה, האנרגיה הולכת יותר לפענוח הדברים ואיך להמשיך הלאה, להמשיך הלאה ולא להתמקד ברגע. זאת אומרת שההערה נותנת לנו להמשיך הלאה. והשחרור הוא להתמקד, להשקיע את האנרגיה באותו רגע. העיירה עוזרת לנו להמשיך הלאה ולהתמודד יותר נכון, להתמודד עם דברים, עם כל מיני, גם טובים, גם רעים. זה לגבי השאלה של שריבה גבת, זאת אומרת, מה שאת אומרת זה ששחרור עבורך זה... לא להתמקד, לא להתמקד בזה הרגע בסבל. לתת להכל, לא לבחור רגש כזה או אחר, לתת להכל חופש, כן? כן, לזרום ומה שיהיה, יהיה, ואז יש לנו את האנרגיה להתמודד, אז ב... להתמודד עם הדברים החיצוניים. ההערה עוזרת לנו להתמודד בהמשך, לקבל מסרים, איך להתמודד הלאה. זאת אומרת, לתת חופש לעולם הפנימי, לרגשות, למחשבות ולתחושות, ואז יש לך אנרגיה להתמודד עם מה שמופיע. כן? זה את מתכוונת? כן. תודה. בבקשה. אז ריטה אומרת שליברציה שלה היא לתת חופש לא להתמודד עם מה שקורה בפנימי, אלא לתת את זה להיות מה שקורה, אז אתה חופש. To, uh, to notice what is around you and to mm. uh, uh, get messages for what you are supposed to do and um, uh, like uh, you are now uh, uh, not occupied with the inner world you are open to see what is happening and acting okay. in the right way okay <laughs> very good very good. <laughs> everything is uh, in, in, in liberation but we don't know it we are in liberation mm. because 
we are not enlightened and the even the world and then body and everything happens in in a liberated state but the when when the thought comes internally and then i also comes in because the i everything we think happening to me and once you get the light in you know that i is actually comes and goes it never stays and whatever comes we don't get involved in the, like thought comes if the thought is needed then we take it and then act upon it if if there's a need otherwise everything flow through in the mind and uh, we we don't need to uh, worry about anything so what mm. whatever comes it it will go if we don't do anything so it can be a bad thought it can be good thought it can be uh whatever it says uh, even though some some thoughts we may think i should not have it but if that comes because that is not we ask for it it comes when that comes sometimes this a i also come in then it, it says why that is coming to me and we get the suffering of that one like we try to say like why it is happening to me why this thought is coming it thought should come i'm good person why the bad thought is coming those sort of things but whatever comes it comes from the uh, total nature itself so let it go when that comes if something you have to do outside take the thought and do it if that is confining with the law of the uh, society or the land otherwise let it go mm. let it go means is actually <laughs> we don't let it go we, we just 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 see that is, that is that is there that you know if if we say let it go means we are doing something we don't do mm. anything is 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 happening okay and and and, and then i i actually as long as i is not taking any, any ownership of anything then uh, everything happening and and then we will be in, in in a state of uh, uh not affected with the with things what are happening around is so the happy or mm-hmm. sad it all comes the in, in any emotion will have some uh, chemical reaction on the body but it is okay if that is needed we take it otherwise we just just let it uh, happens so when when the enlightenment happened liberation we know the liberation is is uh, on the go even in the outside and in inside as well so everything changing every time that's my understanding here oh, okay oh, okay uh lani you may also translate mm-hmm. contraction there is no struggle there is no tightness it is loose and free so that is uh, so our existence our very existence is natural it is loose it is free it is moment by moment new there is no old at all each and every moment each and every moment is new there is no nothing old so everything is naturally changing but uh, so it is our natural state so the natural state is the liberated liberated one and uh, whether it is in the physical form or in the psychological form everything uh, the flowing 
moment by moment new the newness is always uh, coming the world is always going so it is uh, it is the natural law of everybody when something is living all living thing whether it is physical or uh, psychological if it is living the liberation is natural the moment by moment new is natural there is no old at all so it is the nature of everything the very nature of our existence the nature of our psychological function is in the form of liberation there is nothing wrong but uh, but when, when we according to circumstances when we meet a crucial circumstances some uh, to deal with the circumstances some unwanted energy unwanted emotion has to come then only we can meet the situation so it is also natural but at the same time when some good emotion comes we are all right we feel all right but some bad emotion comes we do not feel all right so we want to either we have to separate our emotion or we have to separate the external world so if the external world is okay our internal world is also okay sometimes the external we, we cannot uh, separate the external world and we have to try to separate the psychological world and we have to keep ourselves in a calm state so that is the reason for our struggle and uh, and there are many uh, practices many spiritual practices and uh, many psychological practices are given to separate our mind to keep our mind in a good state so everything is good for the beginners for the beginner we can practice something for the betterment or some good emotions or good state of feeling uh, create some good feeling or uh, keep ourselves without affected by any bad feeling so in this way we are uh, designing our mind designing the function of our mind we are given some practices and with the help of the practices we may for the certain period we can may keep our mind in a good uh, form but the naturally uh, the natural flow is like for example uh, we can compare the, uh, the water the water is always uh, lucid and flow it is any it, it is a flexible one but if it is a, if it is in a frozen state it is not a flexible one but uh, but naturally we interested upon a fixed state um, if you are in a good feeling we are we feel we are okay if in your bad state we are not feel okay so then only but we are trying to have a some way or other we are trying to rigid our flexibility we are trying to frozen our flexibility nature of our mind so the so that means we are giving importance to the psychological function the psychological existence it must be like this must not be like this so our so our concern is towards the the psychological function but actually the psychological function is natural we need not worry about the psychological function it is moment by moment new sometimes the external situation may not be in a fluid state it may it may be like a frozen state but the psychological function is always in a liquid state but if it in a, if it is in a liquid state if you try to set right in a fixed state in a frozen state is also a problem so so what is what what creates problem is that when we try to frozen our state frozen our liquid state frozen our liquid state of our mind in a frozen state is the problem and the but there is no not at all a frozen state in naturally when we give freedom to the uh, frozen state of the mind itself it will become a liquid in a moment moment or later it will be liquid it will be because it is a natural state the liquid state is a natural state the frozen state is only the temporary form and the temporary form may, may not last 
but whenever we are trying to saturate the the frozen state and uh, and create a frozen state or destroying the frozen state that alone is the struggling within ourselves so here in psychological world is concerned we have no work at all and the very understanding that because we have we are having our intellect with the help of our intellect we have to execute all our duty without intellect we cannot do anything and within the same habit we try to separate our function of our mind itself separate the natural function of our mind natural function of our emotions the natural liquid state of our emotion also and creating unnecessary struggle within the liquid state of our emotion liquid state of our mind so the liquid state is the natural state so in this way the liberation is our natural state but the but we we need not uh, think the liberation is always in a, a pleasurable emotion it is just like a flowing emotion the flowing emotion is the uh, natural state the flowing emotion is the liberated state the flowing emotion is the liberation so and some even though it is the flow not flowing the keeping itself flexible the flexible state itself is the uh, liberated state the water is a flexible one but the frozen water is not a flexible one so if it is flexible whether we whether it is flowing or not it doesn't matter if it is a flexible uh, the flexibility gives its uh, liberation gives its freedom but only some frozen nature alone and create some problem and when so when we want to have a good emotion for ourselves that creates a problem and when wants to get away from the bad emotion that is also a problem so thereby we are giving unnecessary struggle within the uh, natural state of our uh, freedom natural state of our emotion mm. so thereby our intellect creates the problem in the function of the natural flow so our intellect has understand that we have no closeness with related to the in the structure of our mind the very understanding of our intellect is enlightenment and by this enlightenment the liberation is uh, constant the liberation is natural there is no problem in the liberation when the liberation is okay everything is okay so but at the same time we need not uh, think the liberation will always give good emotion alone it may give bad emotions give bad uh, sensation so what uh, according to the circumstances alone the uh, response from our mind all emotion make so so dealing the external actions alone the external world alone we may have some different kind of idea um, other way, in other days we have thought about uh, discuss about uh, the total mind conscious mind so that is also related to the external world external things but in the psychological world is concerned no principle is necessary no philosophy is necessary just understanding that we have no business at all with related to the psychological world that itself is enough thereby we have demarcate what is psychological and what is physical so the very understanding what is psychological and what is physical uh, we are able to uh, give freedom to the psychological part if you unable to split up what is psychological and what all what is uh, Uh, physical then uh, the free, uh, we cannot give liberation we cannot uh, understand the enlightenment so so the uh, primarily we understand what is physical and what is psychological if you are able to understand what is physical and what is psychological we can easily understand but our duty is only to the external world there is no duty with related to the psychological well so all psychological emotions are good 
all the psychological emotions are natural there is no flaw within the psychological world so it is the divine world where there is no work on our part so this is my opinion <laughs> שני בגבי דיבר הרבה זמן, אז uh, אני מסתכם ככה רק מה שאני קלטתי בטח. <coughs> אז uh, הוא דיבר על המצב הנוזלי ועל המצב הכפור של התודעה שלנו. הסיטואציות שעומדות בפנינו. והמצב הכפוב נוצר כאשר אנחנו בעצם מנסים לקבע מצב מסוים, אנחנו רוצים שיהיה רק, רק טוב, רק מחשבות טובות, רק רגשות טובים, רק תחושות טובות. אז הניסיון הזה לקבע איזשהו מצב, נחשב המצב הכפוב. מה שאנחנו מניחים לכל המבנה הפסיכולוגי, אז זה פשוט להיות משהו בהתאם לסיטואציות. אז בעצם מתגלה בפנינו המצב הטבעי שהוא תמיד שם, אבל בגלל המאבקים שלנו לא שמנו לב לזה, והמצב הטבעי הוא מצב של זרימה, זרימה של הרגשות מרגע לרגע. אז בסופו של דבר האינטלקט שלנו הוא הגורם המכריע, כי הוא זה ש... באופן לא מודע אולי, מחליט להתערב ולנסות לשנות, והוא גם זה שבסופו של דבר ישחרר אותנו כשהוא מבין שההתערבות שלו היא לא נחוצה והיא גורמת צרות. אז האינטלקט שלנו, יכולת החשיבה, יכולת החקירה הזאת, היא בעצם הגורם המכריע פה. בעולם הפנימי, תניחו להכל להיות כמו שהוא. והפעולה שצריכה להיעשות בעולם הפנים צריכה להיעשות על הצד הטוב ביותר ו- ולדעת להבחין בין מה זה העולם החיצוני ומה זה העולם הפנימי זה עוד מפתח מאוד חשוב כי כאשר אנחנו יודעים מה זה העולם החיצוני ומה זה העולם הפנימי אנחנו יכולים להניח לפנימי לזרום כמו שהוא ולפעול בחיצוני בלבד I was thinking yeah you were referring to our world as a key to the difference between other and inner Mm-hmm. Yes, and I find it really, that's where, uh, that's where we get, uh, uh, because we want to affect the outer world according to our according to, to what we want to think, or we, we, we want to influence over the outer world. Mm-hmm. And uh, because actually we're just afraid of our, uh, it's because of fear. Mm. It's just because what I, I understand from what you're saying about the frozen state, it is just fear, uh, fear, uh, fear-based. Fear is uh, managing it. Mm. It's just uh, another word for fear. Uh, being afraid to feel something or to experience something and then you try to out- alter uh, the circumstances inner outer and then the problem starts so I was thinking yeah so fear is the is the problem but you say actually you you you, you say you don't we don't need to fight with our emotions so mm-hmm. even fear, is uh is what we is what is and we accept fear mm. we 
how do you see it? I, I was uh, wondering, how do you see fear and uh, in your... So here, fear is a reaction. Fear is not an action. So uh, when we want to deal with the fear means we are afraid of the fear itself. So the fear takes the other role of fear. Uh, if you want to separate the fear, the fear wants to separate the fear. So it is a struggling within itself. It is a, actually everything is a reaction. So psychologically, it is just like a pure water. So when we have some reaction, that is some wave. Some wave comes in the form of fear. And the, uh, but the, but the fear has the role to take some action external. Uh, for example, when we are in a, uh, in, a, in, in, a, in a danger, we have to escape from the danger. We have to run away from the danger. We are seeing in a wild animal and we have to get away from the animal. We have to run, we have to escape. For that, the fear is important. Unless we have some fear, we cannot uh, escape from the animal. So in this way, uh, the fear comes for our physical action. But if we take it as a psychological action, we want to uh, separate the fear. There is no necessity to separate the fear. If, if the fear is necessary, we can make use for our action. But if it is not necessary, we need not worry about that. There is no work to separate our emotion. So that is the main things. Okay. okay. So it's it, fear will be like a, a good uh, test. If you manage to not be afraid of fear, experience fear, then it is all right. So, do you, so here, so you actually, the fear comes for our health. So, but we are having, we are looking the fear as our enemy. Then only we are deal, trying to deal with our fear as our enemy. But actually it is coming for our help. We have to appreciate it as a friend. So our concern must be towards the uh, thing which is the cause for fear. That is important. So for that, if you are in a danger or anything, the fear may come. But to, what we have to do is related to the danger, that alone is important. But what is not, what is important to deal with the emotion is not important. So emotion comes for our help as our friend, as our is a supportive age, more energy, supporting energy. We have to make it as a support. We have to take it as our friend. We have to take it as our guide. Um, but uh, we are unfortunately, they take it as our enemy and we are struggling with that enemy. So struggling with our friend uh, in the name of enemy. I think... <clears throat> I think uh, uh, I think Oshwat was meaning that uh, the fear is like uh, she she meant that the fear that is uh, preventing us from uh, uh, experiencing uh, what is like we are afraid to experience. Uh, the emotions that there are. This is going to bring you your emotions, bring to experience your own emotions. Oh, an example. Like, like uh, um, maybe you can. Like, 
experiencing any inconvenient uh, situation or something, some outcome that we would want to come to our lives. Um, say, not in our hands and we are afraid that what won't will not happen. Does you feel happy, you imagine? So the, the, the feeling of some gives some energy to apply uh, energy to get over the situation. Yes. So if you don't have anything like this, we will not do train strategy to get the situation. So it's the energy, energy field, uh, giving some strength, some energy to uh, get 